Hello, welcome to another Excel at the Office video. My name's Adrian, and in this video, seeing it's, it's 2023, Happy New Year by the way, um, I thought it might be good to start the new year as you intend to go on with a fitness tracker I've created. Now I created this uh, for myself because I've got my own fitness goals. I want to do 10,000 steps a day, do on average of 30 minutes of exercise a day and do some press-ups uh, and other strength related repetitions uh, along the way. So I thought I'd create a spreadsheet out of it and uh, share it with you so you can download it from my uh, website eato.blog e -A -T -O .blog. just go on the blog page and there'll be a, a blog published there I'll put a link in the below uh, for the video as well. So this template will allow you on a on the daily recording tab I'll come to in a minute you just enter your three chosen activities each day and this will toss it all up for you so by default uh, you'll see from here this is um, uh, currently currently blank um, so it's got these divide by zero errors in it but just ignore that because once you enter your first days of information it will um, it'll all get sorted out for you so you'll be able to track things like your monthly totals uh, the daily averages so I, I quite like um, doing it in Excel because although I find of course you could do this with a Fitbit or other uh, smart uh, wearable device but I, I tend to not like those things I don't like the extra Bluetooth in my life or uh, EMF related stuff so I, I prefer to just log it manually and track the things I want to track um, and also they don't often have these measures that I'm interested in tracking so for example average um, steps over the course of the year and running totals um, I've included at the end so let's go into the daily recording which I've um, I've also provided um, some quick instructions there for you if ever you get stuck um, but quite simply uh, the daily tracking counts is where you enter your information so by default I've chosen steps minutes and reps because those are the three things I want to record you might want to change these to kilometers um, uh, minutes and reps or kilometers steps and uh, calories if you're calorie counting um, it's up to you but when you do change those things you'll notice that the other parts of the spreadsheet all update accordingly so the names of everything on the, uh, the summary dashboard now has all changed um, so going back to your um, the daily recording I'm just going to undo uh, that and keep it to what I'm uh, doing so I've entered I've, I've got a daily target for myself here so where I mentioned before on average I want to be keeping up with the magic 10,000 steps a day um, around about 30 minutes of exercise and doing 50 reps of something be that squats press-ups sit-ups or um, or other things so I already started uh, the day off on New Year's Day with a bang where I was able to um, meet almost meet my um, step count so I'll just show you here by, while I start entering the figures um, so I did 8,800 steps I did 30 minutes exercise in a swimming pool and I managed to do uh, 50 press-ups in the day today um, I went for uh, a run or at my, point, at my pace a light jog because I'm doing the couch to 5k and that was actually 35 minutes because I'm going to include the uh, warm up in that and I did um, uh, 50 squats and 50 press ups today I'm feeling strong so I hope I can maintain that uh, for the coming days and um, steps um, I did achieve the 10,000 mark given that couch to 5k run and some other walking in between and you'll notice as I'm entering this I've added some conditional formatting here whereby it changes the color to um, highlight the the higher numbers go green and the lower numbers go red and as you progress over the course of the year you'll see where your peak and trough days were um, 
And also the daily target, you might find that useful because I've also, if we come back to the summary fitness tracking page now, I've also um, done some conditional formatting on the daily average because I want to make sure that my daily average maintains above that target that I've set. So I am above 30 minutes a day on average for my minutes and I'm above 50 a day on my reps. So those are green. I'm not quite there on my steps, but that will go green as soon as I do. And you'll see my 2023 totals are now starting to tot up, um, as well as my monthly total for January, which of course is the same as the 2023 total so far. But I hope you can see how this can be quite um, mo useful and motivating uh, to help you through the year. It's an alternative if you're um, we're wearing Fitbits and things like that, Garmin watches, and actually if you're monitoring it yourself it may even be more accurate than the, um, sometimes they're not always that accurate. Um, so yeah, you can see how it's progressing, and in my blog I've given a demo of what it looks like with the whole year completed. So if I just show you um, with the random uh, number generator, which I show you in another uh, video, the rand between function, and if I just do, for example, uh, random number between 5,000 and 15,000 for this column, oh. there we go, finish the brackets, and just complete that down, you'll see how that conditional formatting looks like throughout the year based on those random numbers um, and then in my summary tab oh i didn't quite as the year progresses i didn't quite achieve 10,000 steps a day for the year based on that random predominantly random numbers generated however at the year end i could look back on this and assuming i did achieve that uh, i've come a long way with 3.6 million steps in total for 2023 so that's quite a lot of steps and you, and you can start to get an idea of the uh, how the monthly totals compare whereby for this uh, for february for example there was quite a lot less than my peak in july uh, according to the random number generator but you won't have any of this in your um, in the blank template it will be as i started this video um, so yeah, that's the um, something I hope helps you to achieve better fitness, keeps you motivated throughout. Um, the quick instructions there will show you how to how to use it, depending on what you want to use it for. Um, and let me know in the comments how you get on. I'll be interested to hear uh, to hear how you've used it, what you're using it for, and ultimately whether it's helped you achieve your goals. Um, thanks for your time. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the template, which I'll put a link below at ito.blog, and I'll speak to you again soon.